Alright, welcome back to another episode of Rich Racing here. So, before we get into the video of the hood vent install, uh, I want to talk about the car for a second. So, if you guys follow me on social media, I don't know if I posted it on Instagram or not. My Facebook's pretty private. I don't really post a lot on there about my car as much as Instagram. Don't know if I posted my wastegate issue on Instagram, but anyway, the collar on my wastegate was loose. Um, it was losing pressure, allowing the valve to stay shut. And that's where my nasty boost spike was coming from. Luckily, my tuner does have a boost limiter on the car, or on the ECU on the tune to save my motor. We went in and tightened that collar. So the wastegate is a Turbo Smart Gen 5 60 mil. The collar that holds the top of the wastegate on is what was loose, in case you guys are wondering. Um, so we went in and tightened that. No more boost issues. And yeah, that's pretty much where we're at. I'm going to play a clip, just a real quick clip on what was going on with the car. With that said, let's go back in time and hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you. So what do we got going on here? We? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Labor Day project? And we're cutting a carbon fiber hood. Yeah, and throwing it. Throwing it in the trash. Yep, we're jumping this carbon fiber hood. If anybody wants to you missed your chance. Yep. Yeah. All right. So it's got the vents measured, or the lines measured for the vent because um, he wants this car to look aggressive. That's all it's for. Yeah, but but here's the, here's the funny thing about this. If it's off, guess who did it? The guy behind the camera. Apparently it's gonna be my fault if it's <laughs> fucked up. What do you mean? He's letting me do it, so. <laughs> what do you mean apparently? It is gonna be your fault. So we're gonna trash a thousand dollar hood. As an experiment, no, I'm just joking. No, it's gonna go on good, dude. I'm not, I'm not stressed. I'm not worried. Either. This car looks so good when you wash it, though. One day you have to give me a rundown of the car. Yeah, zero to sixty, never. <laughs> Doesn't run. Just like he said. <laughs> this guy did shoulder day yesterday. And he's ha he's struggling to hold up this 15 pound hood. This is the guy. All he does is hold the camera. Doesn't well, do any lifting. Doesn't I, do any actual work. I hold other things too. That it is. Now it's uh, hitting boost cut really bad. Yeah, and I'm pissed. That's why. 21 pounds at like 6,000 RPM. Dude, I was not filming the whole time. We're just sitting here holding the damn phone. Seriously? Yeah, so let, let's start over. No. You got a stencil. Where'd you get the speed factory stencil? Oh, shit. <laughs> From your mama. Wrap some dirty chonies on your face. <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. All right, got the hood off. I'm just gonna cut along the inside, drill some holes. You're gonna rivet it on, right? You're gonna rivet? Yep. You got nice hard, no fancy hardware for it. This thing looks really cool without a hood though. Worst case scenario, you can just roll the IFO without a hood. Tell this guy to get a mask because he's cutting carbon fiber and decides to grab Cut some, on the mask. <laughs> some random dirty G-string on his face. Yes. Nasty. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, just just get to get to doing the hood. <laughs> we're not gonna we're <laughs> a blade in there and just mm -hmm. cut straight. Yep. Because you can't. How the hell else are you gonna put a blade in? Yeah. I don't know. Just beat the hood. Cut it. Start from the outside. You cut from here. Let's do it on your hood. Let's line. test it out on your hood. You cannot salvage this anymore. So he's got four holes, and uh, his personal hole is wrecked. Your personal hole or your personal hole? I don't know. I'm pretty sure Not mine. Yours got wrecked. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one wearing a mask. Yeah, because your shit stinks. <laughs> Let's get to get the cutting. What is this shit? I'm gonna ah. take a better look at the car. <laughs> no, seriously, this thing's nice. No, really. Do you want to say how much this thing made? Not yet. We don't. We don't have a. We don't have a spot on the dyno, so you don't have a serious number. But yeah, we don't know what it made, so there's really. I can't really say anything because okay. I don't know what it made. It's. Uh, do you mind if I say what it's roughly? No. Okay. It's around six hundred. <laughs> so six hundred ish. It's methanol injected, uh, darting sleeves, 
26 pounds, right? 26 pounds? 26 pounds. With an eBay turbo. <laughs> That no, doesn't look bad. No, it's completely off, but oh, I'll off. trim it down yeah. once I get the rough cutout. Why are you gonna do a rough cutout? Just one and done, boy. Nah, it's a lot. It's a lot harder than you think. <laughs> Glasses, so he can't cut it straight. That's why it came out that way. That thing's cutting smooth. Yeah. See? Metal blade. Dude, I used it's not a, a metal blade. It's not oh, a, yeah, it is actually. a metal blade. Oh, yeah, you gotta use a metal blade on carbon fiber fibre. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna see if it fits before we trim it. Nope, you gotta no. trim it. Yeah. Really? You're not even on my mind. Look at that. This guy said you gotta trim it. He's like three no, quarters of an inch. You gotta trim it. Yeah, you gotta trim it a little bit. You gotta trim the shit out of it. Yeah, yep. Shit. I gotta trim the whole line off. Yeah. If you guys didn't know, we're cutting a vent for uh, for his. We're cutting a hole for the vent so you get a little bit of flow in there. Cause car's overheating, right? Or is the overheating? Cause uh, your exhaust is getting too hot and boost. Heat. Not enough boost, too much heat. Yep. Yeah. Hear shit. <laughs> what was that? Huh? huh? Uh, Why are you coughing? Let's see that blade. What'd you do to that blade? The blade is done. I think I'm gonna have a blister on this finger. Look at it. Oh, look at these sunglasses <laughs> flopping on the back of my head. And you have a giant head, and that shit still fell off your head. Thank you. <laughs> so, what is the, what's the block sprite? Endorsed by Sprite. Sprite. <laughs> look at this guy. Pour all over your face like a. <laughs> so what's, what, that was pretty good actually. It, 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 it's it's, so what's all done to the block? I'm serious. The block? Yeah. What you got going on there? I got JB Weld. Um, look at those called sleeves. They're sleeves, right? Is that what the thing called? It goes around. Yeah. It's yeah. JB Weld sleeves. Okay. Uh, my pistons, I uh, I banged them out in a forge. So I took the, a, a regular piston, right? See, there he is. He's doing the he's doing the motions. I took the regular piston and I took the diameters and I, and I put uh, what is that called? A uh, bunch of rods together. I twisted them up and I banged it out. So it's what is that shit Twist called? Twist them up. What is that shit called? You should know what it's called. You know where they do the knives with the whole bunch of layers on it? Like a what are you like forged and fired? Uh, yeah, but like <laughs> you made your pistons on forged and fire. Yeah. What are they made out of? Titanium. He's got titanium pistons. Yeah, titanium pistons, titanium rods. I got titanium balls and bearings. You're gonna make my bumper. This, flat, this bottom piece for your bumper and cut it out. I was gonna actually do mine just like, just like this, they, but they sell this metal. Yeah, they sell it at uh, Home Depot. Cause I was, that, cause I was actually gonna do something identical, like how yours is right now. Yeah, but obviously, you know. That's easy because I have yeah. I have the black plastic over there, which you can which you oh, yeah. Use. I was gonna do that and probably just leave it black because I mean it wouldn't even yeah, really look that bad. All you have to do is just rivet it together and then cut out the hole. And yeah. Done. It's like a thirty-minute process. So we're gonna go to Home Depot, get the correct rivets, and what's the plan? Uh, correct riv rivets and the the plastic cutters or whatever they're called, and then sure. put this on, see how well it mounts, and well once it's riveted on, and wash it. I guess. And we'll be hopefully ready for IFO. No, we're gonna. I need oh. to redo the whole bottom diffuser. It's gonna be the whole diffuser. It's made with wood. wood, plywood. The most expensive thing right now. No, I'm just joking. It, so dude, wood was. <laughs> I paid seventy four dollars for that piece of wood that's laying right there. That's gonna be out of my splitter. Mm -hmm. Seventy four dollars. But now that I look at it, I could probably make two splitters out of it. 
See, the re funny thing is, you guys never seen this car run. Why? Because it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so why why wood? Why not carbon fiber? Too expensive. Yep. We're not millionaires. Plus, carbon fiber hit a dent, it's cracked. Then you have to use zip ties to get it holding together. But now you're damaging air aerodynamic flow yep. with all the zip ties. Same <laughs> thing with uh, using metal, right? Well, metal metal is different because metal, if you hit something, it bends. You can't bend it back. It's yep. not very malleable. Yep. Man, such precision, dude. This guy's good. This happens when you don't do drugs. Who says I don't do drugs? <laughs> I'm nope. drugged out right now. I'm just kidding. This guy's got a CDL. So, no, I'm just kidding. Don't uh, tell people that. He doesn't have a CDL. He's got a Class B. So it's not like he... What? Yeah. See how this thing fits. So I'm going to head out while Cornholio finishes the vent. He has to get it head out because he's whipped. Oh! I gotta do. I gotta go grocery shopping. Yeah, because you're whipped. Yeah. Let me just not eat. So corn... I haven't eaten anything either. So I don't know what you're complaining about. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, it fits. Look at this. Yeah. I'm skinny. Yeah, I'm a truck driver. <laughs> We're supposed to be fat. What does your shirt say? Arse. <laughs> Arsa. I have no idea. I bought a lifting belt. Oh. Uh, bought a lifting belt. Yeah. And he's he doesn't even lift. Nope, not at all. So really, what's left to do on this? Uh, just trim this piece out and then start drilling the holes. It's going to look good. All right, well, I really got to head out. Later, loser. Later. Let me know when you finish it. Send me a picture. Yeah, no, and, and, you, and, not, and not of your... Hitting boost cut. Oh! <laughs> this guy's messed up. And I don't want a picture of your dong, dude. Like you always do, and I always tell you. My dong? You couldn't handle my dong. Two inches of fury. All right. <laughs> Later. All right, going home. I'm going to have him finish that. Right. <sighs> Got to get some stuff done, but got to get my car wash for for an import face-off and try to figure out this boost cut issue. So the car is hitting like 21 pounds of boost at like five or 6,000 RPM. So turbo is it's, uh, spooling up a little fast, a little too much. So I'm going to go and do that. Thank you guys for watching. Just go ahead and like and subscribe. If you guys have any uh, comments, questions, go ahead and ask. Uh, I'm going to be documenting this car even some more. You know, it's still a process. He's building this awesome time attack car. And um, yeah, it's going to be a cool little, cool little car. Stuff. It's actually looking really good in my opinion. But, you know, he wants to wait for the right time to have it filmed. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.